What would win in a race between a T-Rex and an elephant? An elephant, by a lot. We now know that because of a new formula that tells you the speed of any animal, living or extinct, based only on its size. Small animals are slow, medium-sized animals move the fastest, and the biggest animals move a bit slower. It's a simple equation, but it could help explain which species survive and which ones die, and how humans evolved to be unique among animals. The formula comes down to a few basic principles. First, to run fast, animals need stored energy reserves, which requires muscle, and big animals have the most. That is why large animals like lions can run faster than small animals like rabbits. But heavy animals use up their energy reserves fast, which keeps them from ever reaching the speed their muscles could theoretically allow. So at some point, more muscle mass stops being an advantage. Just look at any animal larger than a cheetah. That extra weight is why lions can't outrun cheetahs, and why elephants don't even come close. And that rule applies in the air and in the water too. It's the same reason the biggest birds and the biggest fish aren't the fastest. And other factors, like whether an animal is warm or cold-blooded, can also have a minor effect. But this simple relationship between weight and speed matters most. So why does this matter? Speed is key to how predators catch their prey and how species move and relocate. So by applying this model to little known or extinct animals, we can learn a lot about them just by knowing their weight. Most of the biggest animals on earth died off millions of years ago. That means the Earth may be changing too fast for slow-moving species to cope. And it could mean those giant species had some incredible adaptations we still haven't discovered, which enabled them to thrive despite being so slow. But it's not just about extinct animals. The model can also help us spot outliers from the model, like humans. Humans weigh about as much as cheetahs, but obviously don't run nearly as fast. That could be powerful evidence for the so-called endurance hypothesis, that as we evolved, humans traded speed for stamina, allowing us to send more energy to our big brains while running. 